Marty, what are you fucking doing? We better get the next act on, guys. What do you reckon? Yes. Come on, let's get a big round of applause going. This guy's great. He's all the way from LA in the USA. Please welcome Steve Johnson. Yes. I fucking hate pandas. <laughs> Apparently I have stumbled upon a panda love club, which is the exact wrong thing you don't want to say today. This woman hates pandas. I've got one person on my side. I think we as a human species have spent entirely too much time and money to keep these pointless animals alive. <laughs> There are scientists who spend their entire careers feeding for these, feeding these animals, caring for them, all the time in a panda costume. <laughs> so that these stupid animals never have to see a human face. Which is way too much because they spend their lives behind a sheet of plexiglass that is smeared with chocolate and snot from little kids looking at the mirror, just slamming their faces in. Mama, look! It's a polka dot poop here! Right? That's a much better name. It's way catchier. Not even pandas want there to be pandas anymore. They are just refusing to procreate. They're like, guys, all we do is sit around and eat bamboo all the time. If we stop eating bamboo for like two hours, we're all going to starve to death. <laughs> But they've got all these scientists behind them just chanting, fuck, 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 fuck. Okay. I thought that was going to work. I wanted to get a group of people all scream fuck, but uh, I'll, have to, I'll have to be a rapper or something to get people to rap along with me. Uh, that's, but you know, I, I understand that kind of pressure because that's I always I hear the same exact kind of thing in the back of my head whenever my mom asks, "Where are my grandchildren?" <laughs> I can picture my yes, I can picture my mom chanting the word "fuck." It's a clear mental image. I'm glad that I shared it all with you. Uh, so what the uh, what scientists don't understand is that pandas don't work with the whole when mommy and daddy love each other very much kind of situation. With pandas, it's when mommy and five dudes she doesn't know very well are all drunk on bamboo toilet wine in animal jail. So when it comes time to make more pandas, to make that sweet, sweet panda love, and there's only the, only the mommy panda and the daddy panda. The mommy panda turns around and says, okay, well, where are the five other dudes? But these scientists are dedicated, and they put on their panda suits. <laughs> yeah, all right. You guys don't love pandas enough, apparently. <laughs> you want them to die out if you're not helping out that way. I, uh, I grew up with cats. I always had cats when I was a little kid. Uh, my mom's rule about ca uh, pets was no rodents, no reptiles, and nothing smaller than a kitten. Which, I guess, eliminates everything except kittens and really big birds. And I didn't want that when I was a little kid because I don't need another reminder that I can't fly. <laughs> I don't need that in my life. Yes, thank you for feeling sorry for me as a child. <laughs> And I couldn't fly. I tried, but that's why I look like this. <laughs> we would always, it would always be a girl cat. Because I've got two brothers, a dad, and a mom. So it's just boys and my mom. She's totally outnumbered. So she'd always get a girl cat to even out the boy-girl ratio in the house. And... Yeah, that makes sense. That's logic. Yeah. So, uh, we would always lo learn to love these cats because if the cat was sitting in your lap, you didn't have to do any chores and you didn't have to give your brother CPR if you needed it. The cat was exemption from all sorts of different things. And since they were girl cats, they had these instincts to bring us dead animals. And my mom was always really proud of them. I was like, oh, look, she's brought us a new gift. 
But that's not why cats bring you gifts. Cats bring you gifts because they think you can't hunt for yourself. So whenever you have a conversation with a cat and they meow you, you meow back, meow, 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 meow. What that sounds like to a cat is a cat will come up to you and look at you and say, what up, blood? And then you respond with, my friend. <laughs> been over this. You've got to stop doing that. You, you understand? Sugar biscuit. All right. Obviously, you're too retarded to feed yourself. Don't eat the paint while I'm gone. Do you understand? Yeah. Pudding. And so my cat would keep bringing me rats and lizards all throughout my life, and I got to eat a lot of rat and lizards, and that's why I'm such a nice big guy. So thank you, cat, for feeding me rats like my mom didn't want me to have when I was a child. My name is Steve O'Jocelyn. Thank you very much, everybody. Steve O'Jocelyn, guys, come on!